end of the Great War promised hope for a nation. But prohibition and depression eroded the core of the Union. The new nations turned to the sky, ushering in a new era of commerce. And with it, sky piracy was born. This is a world on fire. This is the world of crimson skies. mind if I leave my socks on. Maria? Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. It's a sequel to the original Crimson Skies that was only on the PC. It is quite different to the original. The original had uh, a more realistic flight model. And it was much more linear, where this is quite an open um, style game. Very open-ended. It is a arcade flight sim, I guess you could say. Kind of like Ace Combat, but set in an alternative 1930s. This only came out on the original Xbox, I believe. Uh, it was planned to be released on the PC, but it never it never, um, never got made, unfortunately. This is a game that I remember extremely fondly um, growing up, and another game that really showed off the power of the original Xbox at the time. It looked massively better than the PC uh, original game that came out a few years behind and uh yeah a few years before also the fortune hunters which is the pirate band that we are in control of is quite different um to the original it's a lot smaller in scale but i never played the original sadly and i always wanted to so continuing our recent trend of finding old original Xbox games and seeing if they're still good. Let's have a look and see if this one is still good. There's a fair amount to this game from what I remember and I also remember it being pretty hard in places as well. I guess we're going to put that to the test. So anyway guys, I guess it's time to <laughs> suck it and see. Is this game still good? I really hope so because I love these types of games. So we're going to go single player. I have a failed let's play under my belt due to certain difficulties that happened yesterday, shall we say. Um, not the game's fault. It's more of a, my aging PC's fault. So we're going to go, well, however, uh, one good thing that did come of it, I did learn the controls and, and that kind of stuff. So it was a nice little refresher course for me. And then I set another account up just to have a quick go when I first dug the disc out. Uh, but that was some weeks ago now. So um, I don't think we can actually delete these, unfortunately. We are Nathan, um, the main character, the, the leader of the Fortune Hunters. And he really, really reminds me of Nathan Drake. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if anyone agrees with me. And I hate these old keyboards. Ty, Tan. There is no backspace or anything mapped to the keyboard. It's all on screen buttons. Titan 4. Uh, let's just go Titan LP. 
Uh, I'd love to know how to delete. Oh, that'll do. Titan LP. I'd love to know how to delete the games. I know on the original Xbox, obviously, you could go into the dashboard without a disc in and delete your games that way. But obviously, uh, I don't know if you can still do that on the Xbox One X. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's go done. Uh, we're going to go on invert. We're going to go lots of voice, lots of sound effects. The music is meh. It's all right, I guess. The sound effects are excellent. And the voice acting so far is definitely above average for this year of game. Uh, difficulty, we're going to go medium, I think think because I honestly can't remember how hard this game is in the later levels I do remember it being fairly difficult so let's go the loading is also very very fast on this Xbox steady Nathan steady no sudden movements steady problem with the high stakes table Nathan a few bad hands and you can lose everything your Zeppelin your money a man should never mix his champagne with poker. Good spirits lead to bad wages. Mm, pardon the intrusion, Sheriff, but a shrewd gambler always collects his debts early. So long, Nathan. Well, I trust I was a gentleman last night. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a plane. Sorry about that. I got a little hung up. How much did you make off with? A couple grand. I'm afraid we're gonna need more than that. What do you mean? I had a little problem in the high stakes poker room last night. What kind of problem? Gambling problem. Thibodeau cheated me out of the Pandora. You gambled away our Zap? Rendezvous over Calico Bay. I'll fill you in on the details. As soon as I... I did some checking. Word is the Cajuns are hiding the Pandora in those islands up ahead. Follow me. And this is where we start. Yes, we are Nathan. Um, and this is our wing woman, I guess, uh, Betty. Now, Nathan seems to be quite good at making poor decisions, shall we say. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the CG on those cutscenes was absolutely insane for the time. I think this game came out in like 2003, I think, something like that. Um, very impressive stuff. Now, this is actually a Microsoft-owned game, I believe. This is a, a first-party game. So, hey, Microsoft, like, where's Crimson Skies? Because if I remember correctly, although this game's kind of forgotten now, the first two games were really well-received, and they did pretty well. Anyway, let's follow Betty. Let's see if we can get our Zeppelin back from our fresh enemies, I suppose. The the newest guys that we've been pissing off. They're, they're the raging Cajuns. Yellow brackets highlight your objectives. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. We got this. I know how to fly a plane. There's uh, quite a few planes in this game as well. This is the first one, the Devastator. Yeah, we got it. And the Devastator is actually uh, one of my favorite planes in this game. It's cool. All right, let's light them up. Now, all the planes are good at something. It's not like the first plane you start off with is shit, and uh, then you get the next best plane, and then the next one, and the next one. No, they're all different, and they're all good, which is, uh, which is cool. And they can all be upgraded as well. 
secondary weapon. Practice on those abandoned gun towers. Let's go. All the planes have different weapon loadouts and different um, secondary weapons as well. Now, I do like the animation on the wing there. You can see when we fire these magnetic missiles, you actually see the mechanism on the wing reloading a fresh missile into the tube. It's really cool. I love that sort of detail. All right. What's next, buddy? I remember the graphics of this game being absolutely breathtaking. And it looks pretty good on the X. Not going to lie. It does look pretty good. I'm quite happy. It kind of performs quite well as well. Is a little bit of a uh, lag now and again. Does drop a few frames here and there, but it's not bad. Well done. Pull a few more maneuvers just to be sure. Now you can use maneuvers to get out of sticky spots and turn around and that kind of stuff, but it does drain your boost gauge, which is uh, the brown gauge under your health bar in the top corner there. There we go. Special moves drain the special meters. When you're done, fly to me and we'll continue. That's an Immelman. Yep. We got it. Now, you don't actually run out of fuel. You just stutter a little bit if you run out of the go juice. All right, Betty. What's next? This game does look very nice still. Great. Hmm. I do like the spent brass coming out of the guns as well. Very cool stuff. There was a lot more detail in the original game um, when it came to upgrading your planes. You could do so much more. Even different types of ammunition like dum-dums, armor piercings, slugs, that sort of stuff. None of that's in this game, sadly. They simplified it quite a lot. But I think they made a tighter package overall. I do want to play the original eventually. Definitely want to play the original. Yeah, I see him. No problem. Let's take these guys. All right, let's go to work. Follow my lead. All right, boss. Now you're talking. There's our Zeppelin. So this game is set in an alternate 19. Oh god. Yeah, we want our Zep back, buddy. So this game's set in an alternate 1930s, where instead of relying on car and uh, other types of vehicular or land-based travel humanity took to the skies and the plane and the zeppelin became the primary mode of transport and instead of everyone having a car pretty much everyone's got a plane it's a really interesting universe and I like it quite a lot we see them uh, also the original game didn't have floating pickups that you can grab But I can't talk too much of the original game because I've only seen uh, Let's Plays of it and stuff like that. But I do love these magnetic missiles we've got. A little bit hard to use because there's no lock-on or anything like that. You've just got to fire it and hope the missile tracks. Sometimes they track really well. Sometimes not so well, as you can see there. Come on, you little turd. Yeah. Come on. Come to Papa. Yep, I got you, boy. I got you. There you are. There's no lead target indicator either, which makes things a little bit challenging. So we got an upgrade token. So for 14 tokens and 1,000... No, 4,200, we can upgrade this plane to the next step. Let's board the Pandora. Who's gonna fly it? We need Big John. He took off during last night's card game. Until we track him down, I'll have to do my best. Now, you can explore these islands, and there is a lot of stuff to find. Well, and by a lot of stuff to find, I mean there are tokens and whatnot. I don't think there's any tokens on this level, though. We do need the tokens. Because, unfortunately, one thing that does slightly irk me about this game... Is not only do you need money to upgrade your aircraft, you need to get enough tokens as well. But this is the Pandora. This is a uh, this is home, our flying fortress, if you will. And if you want to save the game, you return to the Pandora. 
Uh, you can also rearm and reload. And the Pandora is going to be a big part of the coming battles. So, we were let's go home. Let's take our ship back. Although it's got to be said, Nathan did kind of gamble his Zeppelin and his plane away. So, yeah. The morning after. So we've got one token and 2,000 bucks. 2,000 bucks ain't a lot of money in this game. Money is easy to come by. Tokens, yeah. Tokens are a little bit difficult. And I'll explain that as we go. So. A ship without a captain. Sea Haven can be a rough place, especially when you have no money, no crew, and a bad hangover. Take old jobs and earn as much cash as possible in your search for Big John. So, Big John is the guy that has gone missing. He is our uh, pilot. But unfortunately, he has gone. So we're going to have to make best do without him. Tokens are dotted around levels. And you, although the levels are open-ended, you do eventually move on from each area. And once you move on from each area, you don't go back. So you can miss tokens. Luckily, I have a guide, and I do endeavour to get them all, which is something that I don't think I ever did back in the day. So let's go find Big John. Earn money. Earning money is easy. Very easy. Because we're pirates. And you know, if we needs money, we takes the money. So if we hit up upgrade, that will tell us the difference. I think planes can only be upgraded once. But they are usually fairly substantial upgrades, so, you know. It is worth it. Oof. Boss, I thought you said you could fly this thing. I got us here, didn't I? Yeah. We need Big John. You're right. Let's find him. All right, let's see if we can find our friendo. It's a good thing these uh, zeppelins are quite explosive resistant. I guess they must be using some different kind of gas. Okay, so, blue dots are missions on the map. This is quite a... Quite a... Ahead of its time, this game, really. Now, these big zeppelins here, we can actually... Get money from these guys. Can shake these guys down. Which is how we can get an awful lot of money. Harvesting the money they give us is a little bit tricky, but... I'm sure we'll get the hang of it again. Luckily, this plane is fairly resistant to bullets. There we go. He's dropped his cargo, which we can now go scoop up. Sometimes they drop health kits and ammo as well. But this is generally how we uh, fill our coffers. Now, also, you do get payouts doing missions as well. But this is a very quick and easy way of getting money because you can just keep doing this. You can keep shaking down the local forces. Should I say the local freighters? There's another one down there. Let's go take him. What I will probably do is do these off camera. Now, you can see there as well, there is a token. There's actually 10 tokens on this level. And we do want them all. You can destroy turrets and blow up engines and things like that, which is really nice as well. Really quite detailed. The only um, game like this that I can think of that is more detailed for the time was probably Jagger. And Jagger is another game that I really want to cover. Very similar to this, except it's a futuristic sci-fi setting. There we go. We've actually got a health kit from there, too. Nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Now, not every uh, mission you go on is open-ended like this one. Some of them are just like one-shots. But for now, this is our hub world, and we're going to be here for a little while. Not a huge amount of time, but a little while. 
Okay, so we've got 3,200 in the bank. That's not too bad. Let's go grab up some medals. I'll show you kind of how we do that. Very easy. It's just a shame there's no map. There's no indicator of where they are. You really do just have to fly around and hope you can find them. Which, ah, uh, not a fan of that, to be honest. But there's ten on this mission. So there's the first. Yoink, one. There's no indicator telling you when you've got them either. Which drives me nuts. But, unfortunately, we do need them if we want to upgrade our ships. And we want to upgrade our ships. Because they get good. They get really good. Okay. Now, I know there's another one on the beach here somewhere. Which is hidden away. Ah, there we go. A lot of them, if you don't know where they are, good luck finding them. That's all I'm going to say. So there's number three. Now, if you die, you lose all your progress. Which is a huge ball lake. But you can return to the Pandora at any time by going to that. Or you can go up to it and dock. If you, go, if you return to the Pandora, it does save your progress, which is nice. So, let's grab you. Number four. Alright. Yes, I know about flying to the blue dots. It's fine. Just let me grab my upgrade tokens. And what's this? Number five or six? I can't remember. Okay. I think that's all of the ones around here anyway. So, let's go grab this one. That there is a plane that we can steal. And we will be stealing that plane. Probably, yeah, we might have a go at stealing that in a minute. It's actually part of a mission. So, I'm not sure if we can sequence break that. Now, next. There's another one up here. There's one in the volcano, but it's a dick to get. So, I am going to save it before we grab that one. Because if you get touched by fire, you burn. And if you get set on fire, it's basically game over. Um, there's another one over here. So we should have 11 by the time we've picked all of these up. Now the maps aren't huge. Which is one saving grace, I guess. When trying to find all of these tokens. Yeah. I haven't decided whether I'm going to get them all off camera or I don't know. After this, anyway. I don't think there's many levels, actually, that has as many tokens as this one, to be fair. Oh, there might be one other level. But that's about it. Yep, let's return to the Pandora and see how many tokens we have now. Like I say, every time... Ah, oh shit. Every time we come back here, it saves the game. Uh, cancel. And I skipped how many bloody tokens we've got. Because it only flashes up quickly when you go back to Pandora. Luckily, the loading on the uh, X is really quick. We've got nine, so we're missing two. Okay. I know there's one in the volcano, which I hate getting this. Because the volcano flares up. And every time it flares, it will catch you on fire. Right. Um, quite a cool little town, to be honest, as well. The way that you've just got this uh, complete town built around this volcano. I'm not sure if I'd want to live there, to be honest. But the people seem happy. Right, it's flaring up now. Let's wait for that to die down. There we go. So it only flares up every now and again. Oh, and we're on fire. Notice how we didn't actually touch the volcano. But we uh, we died. 
Yeah, I hate getting this thing. It's annoying as hell. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Alright, is the other one in there? No. That's unfortunate. Come on. Come on. Nope. Missed it. Oh, this is going to be a dick bag. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, that was close. Easily the hardest token to get on this level. See? We got caught again. Come on, you fucker. Come on, mission failed. Ah. Yeah, once you're on fire, there's literally nothing you can do as well. Oh, also, uh, every time you go to the Zeppelin and back, all of the other freight Zeppelins respawn. So, you can just go looting and looting and looting until you have enough money for whatever upgrades. There we go. That time we made it. Right, so there's one more. One more token somewhere. That could literally be anywhere. Well, it can't literally be anywhere. Might be here somewhere. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. It's here somewhere. There it is. Nice. Who would have thunk that this mission... Oh, God, it's so burnt into my brain. And yes, if you crash too fast, you can die. You can quite easily die. There we go. Cool. So, I'm going to go back to the Pandora so we can bank all of our tokens. And I suppose we can do a mission. And that will call it that for this level. Well, for this video, I should say. Right, let's go see what's going on. Most levels only have, like, five tokens or something like that. Ah, oh, hey, friend. Mason, good to see you. Doc, it's been a while. How you been? I've had better Ouch. There he is. Yeah, looks like we've got some no-good nicks on the dock. These guys friends of yours? No, unfortunately, these men are trying to kill Oh, no. <laughs> I'm making it my business. Well, it looks like the dock is our friend. Interesting. Come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. Now, you can't fire your guns forever, either. They do eventually overheat. But they don't take long to cool down, so it's not too bad. Right. <laughs> we got a hero. Well, not really a hero. Ooh, playing chicken. Yes. Looks like the scientist is actually fighting back. Good man. In his little gyrocopter. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, you're taking heat, all right. Let up your ass, boy. What was that all about? They're trying to force me to sell my station so they can control Sea Haven's fuel supply. Really? Sounds like Tibido's type of racket. I'll see what I can do about hmm. it. You're a good friend, Nathan. Follow me to my station. I'll repair your plane. That's kind of you. Yeah, he says he's going to repair our plane for helping him out, but he actually charges us for the privilege. Can you believe that? Well, this is the station. Just up ahead. Doc, any idea where I might find Big John? Repair bay. Cheers, Doc. If you need any repairs, just stop by the station. Thanks. Yeah, the only trouble is, Doc, if I stop by your station, it costs me 200 to repair my plane. Whereas I can just go back to the Pandora. I suppose the advantage is... The advantage is... We can use the repair bays whilst we're in combat. Alright, let's go take our money back from this guy. Ooh, I love the way they explode. They really do go up nicely. That can be said for 
quite a few of the big things we'll be destroying in this game. They really are quite visceral when they go up, which is nice. None of that gone in a flash stuff that we got so used to on lesser games. Now, there's no penalty for doing this either. I mean, there's literally nobody poli uh, policing these skies at all. Then I suppose if anyone did decide to police these skies, we would just make short work of them. So, you know. I also, <laughs> I like the way some people bail out of their planes as well. Or the Zeppelins. <laughs> it's like, fuck this shit. First man out. Alright, let's go take this one down and we'll call it a video. Give me your money. I want your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Well, maybe just your clothes and your boots. Don't really have the use for a motorcycle in this tipsy, turvy world of ours. Uh, where are you? There you are. You also get some nice effects as well uh, with some of the weapons that we use later on. Enemies... Uh, do you get nicely scarred up and you can burn big holes in some of the bigger zeppelins and things like that. It's really cool. Really detailed. Really did uh, allow the Xbox to flex its muscle back in the day. Which is nice. Now, unfortunately, when the money does fall into something, I'm pretty sure it disappears. Might have got lucky with that. Come in. Come in. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Was that worth it for 33 bucks? I'm not sure. Right, anyway, let's go back to the Pandora and we're going to call it there, guys. So, I hope you're going to enjoy this game with me. I love this game so far. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, we've almost got enough tokens to upgrade our Devastator as well. Uh, I think it gets extra guns on it. It gets more armor. It gets quicker. It gets a... Uh, Pretty cool paint, paint scheme. And I think it can hold more ammo as well. So it's definitely worth upgrading. Anyway guys, I am going to call it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.